Welcome back to World of Mechanics. Have you ever guys wonder what happens if you jumpstart your vehicle instead of the positive you put the negative and you switch them? Well today we are going to demonstrate it happened to us accidentally. Sometimes it happens guys you are in a hurry you don't pay attention and you think you kill the computer. So stay with us to see how we are going to do that and how we are going to fix the vehicle after that. Ok watch now. When we switch them this is positive and we are going to give it negative and the other way around and you are going to see the spark coming out of it. Ok like that. Ok so now if you go ahead and try to start your vehicle you will not be able to. As you can see I turn the key on and nothing happens. You don't even see what gear it is. It's like uh, you don't have connection to the computer anymore. To the transmission computer and to the engine ECU as well. Some cars it's, a, it's one computer and you cannot even pull the keys on some of the cars because it, it has no connection with the transmission so it doesn't know if you're in park or not. Ok guys so what do you need to do? Uh, don't worry most of the time she didn't burn the ECU right here it is. In some cases you might but probably you'll be 95% you're safe. You need to find the fuses that are in your engine compartment and this is a Fiat but it's the same for all the vehicles. And you need to check the fuses that says power train. Then as you can see we have fuse F09 right here it says power train. So this one and also F11, F11 right here and F17. So you need to check all powertrain fuses and one of them is most likely burned. So we're going to check now and see if it's actually that the case and if it's going to fix the problem. So that's where the fuses are on the little Fiat right here. And now F F09 is this fuse right here, that 10 amp as you can see. So we're going to remove it and see if that's the only burn fuse and if we can fix the problem just by replacing it. And as you can see, let me get a better view, ok that thing is burnt as you can see right here. So we're going to install a new one now and you just push it in, make sure you get the right fuse. It might be more than one fuse guys and usually you can check the big ones, sometimes a big one will burn as well. Ok now we're going to try to start it, ok let's see, you can even see P here for parking so it's contacting with the ECU now and it fired right up, right there. Ok guys so you know how to fix it if it happens to you, sometimes it does so please give us a like, don't forget to subscribe, we have a new video on our channel every day.